think that it's really important to be given this opportunity to meet the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge because they have such a big platform and I think that Jack.org is growing tremendously as an organization and that meeting with two people that can make such a big impact is so important because it gives us the chance to really open these conversations with them and that they'll really be able to help make a change. I think we chose to move to Jack.org because the uh, priorities that the Duke and Duchess have around mental health this year really lines well with what Jack.org is trying to do in terms of tackling mental health from a youth perspective and changing it within our generation first and then letting that kind of have a ripple effect with the rest of the world. Traditional approaches to addressing mental health initiatives in Canada. They rarely reach beyond the one in five individuals who have a mental illness. So Jack.org's messaging and approaches reach out to the five in five individuals who all have mental health. And I think reaching out to everyone and making this conversation relevant to everyone is one of the strong points of Jack.org. Well, I plan on just telling them that I'm extremely grateful that they're providing us with this opportunity to kind of spread the message more about the importance of mental health overall. Jack.org's presence in Canada is really important. We have the three uh, elements of Jack.org, so the summit, the talks, and the chapter program, and through those programs we're able to reach more youth, um, and the more youth we reach, the louder the youth voice gets. So how did the group score an audience with the Royals? So I think it's because we're a national network. We have over 100 chapters in the country, so it's just so large. Mm -hmm. And the work that we're doing to end silence and stigma around mental health is something that the Duke and Duchess are doing with their organization called Heads Together in the UK.